we're going to do grade 12 taxation so guys here is the question paper as you can see this is a question paper it is downloaded from stan stanmorephysics.com if you want you can download there and get even the memo so i'm going to explain how they got the answers so guys focus 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 so now we are going to this is question four as you can see here is question four i'm gonna read it question four four point one Tabo is a 45-year-old businessman. His monthly taxable income is 39500 Tabo belongs to the medical aid fund. Table 2 below indicates rates of tax for individuals for the tax year 2021-2022. As you can see, here is the table. Uh, let me put it. Here is the table, guys. You can see the table. So now we must go to the question so that to, to, so that we can answer use table 2 above to answer the questions that follow 4.1.1 determine tabo's annual taxable in as you guys can see the question it says determine tabo's annual taxable income so how do we do this annual taxable income when something is annual, that means the, when they talk about annual taxable income, that means they talk about something that they talk about yearly. So we're going to use 12 months to calculate this. Let's not forget that Tabo. Let me go back to this question. Let's not forget that Tabo ends 39,500. He makes 39,500 taxable income. So we're going to say. 39,500 multiplied by 12 months. This is 12 months, guys. 12 months, which is equals to, which is equals to 474,000. 474,000. This is how you do it, guys. This is 4.1.1. Say that 9,500 multiplied by 12 months because they are talking in terms of annual. So now we are going to the long question now. Going to a long question. Hence, calculate Tabo's monthly income tax paid to SARS. Now we are talking in terms of monthly. Monthly income tax. So we can start like this now. So guys, this is the answer of 4.1.2. So guys, I'm going to show you how did we get to this answer. This is not the full answer. I'm going to do it step by step. So let's begin. You see here the table. We took text bucket number four. Look at the look at that that one. Text bucket number four at the table. Which has in taxable income 467,501 minus 613,600. Focus on that on that column, that one. I'll assume that you guys have now you can see it. So guys, so how did we get to this to this answer? We took the 110,739 and we said plus 36%. You can write it on calculator plus 36% or plus 0, 0,36 or plus 0, 0,36. It's up to you. But it's 36%. So we took the bracket, set bracket, then set 474,000. Where did we get this 474,000? Remember the previous answer. The previous answer of 4.1. We got 474,000. This is an annual taxable income. This is the answer we got on 4.1.1. Then annual taxable income that we calculated on 39,500. This is annual, like multiply, for 12, multiply by 12 months. We got it by saying 39,500 multiply by 12 months. Then we got 474,000. This is an annual taxable income. Then... 
we continue and we minus it by 467,500. Where did we get 467,500? We still on tax bracket number 4. We got it there. 467,500. I'm sure you guys see it by now. Then this is the answer. It costs 213,079. So guys, let me explain this again. But now I'm going to do it quick. Tax bracket. We focus on tax bracket number 4. Why do we focus on text bracket number four? It is because it is because Tabo ends four hundred and seventy four thousand annually. So as you can see here, this is the middle number here on bracket on bracket four. It's in the middle. As you can see, guys, it 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 is where it qualifies. So. We are using text bracket number four. So let's begin. We start. We got the answer by saying one hundred and ten thousand seven hundred and thirty nine, which is rate of tax, one hundred and ten thousand seven hundred and thirty nine plus thirty six percent or plus zero comma thirty six, depends on you. Then we said bracket four hundred and seventy four thousand, which is annual taxable income, which is annual taxable income. Then we minus it. By four hundred and sixty-seven thousand five hundred, then you got the you got the answer, which is equals to one hundred and thirteen thousand and seventy-nine. Now, after we are going to less repeat. How did we do the less repeat? So, doing the less repeat, we only took the tax repeat, as you can see here, which is tax repeat twenty twenty-two. Primary, secondary, tertiary. We took the primary. Why did we take the primary? Because Tabo is 45 years old. The secondary says it. we apply it when Tabo is 65 years older. Then the tertiary, we apply it when he is 75 years older. So here in this case, Tabo is just 45 years old. So we take the primary. So we're just going to say 113,079. Minus 15,714. Then we got the answer 97,365. So, guys, this is it. So, guys, now we are doing the less medical aid credit. So, how do we do this? How do we do the less medical aid credit? We will have to go to the table again. Now, guys, look at the medi uh, medical aid credit. Per month, we're going to focus there. As you can see here, for taxpayer, it's three hundred and thirty-two. For taxpayer and one dependent, is six hundred and sixty-four. For each additional dependent, is two hundred and twenty-four. So Tabu is a taxpayer. So we're going to take the three hundred and thirty-two. Rand, three hundred and thirty-two rand. We're going to first take the amount. That we calculated on less rebate, which is 97,365. We minus it by 332, multiplied by 12. Where does this 12 come from? This is a 12 months annual. Multiply by 12, then it's equals to 93,381. Let me repeat again. Look at the table. Tabo is a taxpayer. So we're going to take 332. So we're going to take the amount that we calculated from less rebate, which is 97,365. We minus it by 332, multiply by 12, which this 12 is an annual. It's a 12 months, which is year. In a year, we have 12 months. This is the 12 months. Equals to 93,381. So now let's go to another. So guys, the last calculation is monthly tax. We're going to take the total amount that we have calculated, which is 93,381, divide by 12 months, equals to 7,781,75, which means Tabo, in monthly terms, he pays 7,781,75. This is how we do the taxable income. Guys, let's go to 4.2. The box and whiskers. Plot below shows the monthly salary in law and business fields. Box and whiskers plot of salaries in thousands of rands. 
Use the information above to answer the following questions. So guys, this is a box and whiskers. As you can see here, determine the difference in the medium salaries of the law and the business field. So guys, as you can see here, that the law is black and the business field is white. So we are determining the difference. This is how we will determine the difference. We're going to check the lines here, which is 74,000, which is the law. Then the business is 85,000. Then we minus it. Then we got the difference, which is 11,000. We are checking the lines here. I'm sure you guys see, uh, you can see the line here. Well, the black one is not really visible, but it's 74,000 as I'm telling you. We're checking the lines. You can see here the white one match with 85, which is 85,000. This is how we do the box and whiskers. So now guys, it's question 4.2.2. You calculate the interquartile range. As you can see, the question says calculate the interquartile range for the business field. You may use the formula IQR equals to Q3 minus Q1. So we take the first line and the line with the, that is at the end. As you can see here, at the end it's 95. On the business, focus on the white one, 95. Then at the end is seventy five is seventy six, yeah it's seventy six, which is close to seventy five seventy six. Then you say ninety five thousand minus seventy six thousand, you got your ninety.